F1 Testing, Day 3. Lewis Hamilton leads Mercedes 1-2 from Red Bull as several teams suffer reliability issues in Barcelona. Lewis Hamilton led a 1-2 from new teammate George Russell as Mercedes produced a strong finish to testing in Barcelona. Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen were third and fourth for Red Bull. Alpine and Aston Martin among teams hampered by reliability issues. Share. This is a modal window. Unsupported location. The video you are trying to watch cannot be viewed from your current country or location. Lewis Hamilton set the fastest time of Formula One's first 2022 preseason test to seal a Mercedes 1-2 ahead of Red Bull, as several teams were hampered by reliability issues on the third and final day in Barcelona. Build officially as a shakedown rather than official testing, which follows in Bahrain next month. The event marked the start of a new era for F1 in 2022 Smutch changed cars, but ended with familiar names at the top of the timesheet. Recommended. 1 5th. F1 in 2022. What we learned from first preseason test. As Mercedes, Red Bull and rivals impress. Read more. Recommended by. After McLaren and Ferrari had displayed the most speed on the first two days, it was the teams that contested last season's World Championship who returned to the top of the timesheet on Friday, with Hamilton taking first from his new teammate George Russell with a 119. 138 in the final minutes of the afternoon session. Sergio Perez was third ahead of his Red Bull teammate and world champion Max Verstappen in fourth, on a day where the rival teams both produced very healthy lap. Counts do go along with their strong times. There was more quality work for Ferrari and McLaren, who each completed well in excess of 100 laps on Friday and can head to Bahrain, which also hosts the Opening Grand Prix of the season, next month with plenty of optimism. F1 cancels Russian GP following Ukraine invasion. Who's fastest? Who has most laps? The key tables at F1 testing. However, Alpine, Aston Martin, AlphaTauri and Haas all endured a disappointing end to the week, with a variety of issues severely limiting their track time, and contributing to five red flags during the morning session. Russell, who along with Hamilton recorded his fastest lap on a softer, and theoretically quicker, tire than the ones used by their rivals, warned against taking too much notice of the timesheets. Share. This is a modal window. Unsupported location. The video you are trying to watch cannot be viewed from your current country or location. Lap time-wise I don't think is representative at all, Russell said. We were on the softest compound of tires, and the C5 is a very strong tire around this track, so even though we were on the top of the timesheet I wouldn't read too much into it. I think the McLaren and the Ferrari are looking incredibly strong and I think we've got some improvements to be made, as we're not fully happy with the balance of the car and the limitations we have currently. Red flags fly as technical issues arise. Despite his concerns, Russell was able to extract performance from the Mercedes, leading reigning world champion Verstappen at the end of the morning session. After recording a 119, 233. After a relatively clean opening two days in terms of technical issues, they suddenly all came at once on Friday morning. First Fernando Alonso was forced off track with a hydraulics issue after just 12 laps, which led Alpine to before lunch announce their withdrawal from the remainder of the day. Having completed 40 laps, Pierre Gasly crashed his Alfa Tori in the middle sector, with the cause unclear. The car never returned to the track, with Yuki Tsunoda not seeing any final day action. Chinese rookie Guan Yu Zhou spun his Alfa Romeo, before drawing a second red flag in quick succession as his car broke down shortly after returning to the track. His teammate Valtteri Bottas would complete just 10 laps in the afternoon session. Sebastian Vettel, whose strong words on Russia's invasion of Ukraine on Thursday were perhaps a catalyst for F1's announcement on Friday of their decision to cancel this year's Russian GP, suffered an oil leak, which drew a fifth red flag and ruled Aston Martin and Lance Stroll out of the afternoon session. Haas did not cause a red flag, but completed the fewest laps of all. With just nine circuits on the board for Nikita Mazepin, a suspected leak forced the moth track, and ultimately prevented Mick Schumacher from appearing in the afternoon. Hamilton has the final say. 
The morning session was less dramatic for the likes of Ferrari and McLaren, who continued their strong work into the afternoon to round off encouraging. Charles Leclerc was six, a place ahead of his teammate Carlos Sainz, while the McLarens of Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris were 10th and 11th. Williams also enjoyed a largely trouble-free day, with Alex Albin and Nicholas Latifi combining for 107 laps as they finished 8th and 9th. However, the final say in Barcelona went to Hamilton, who has promised his best this season after losing out on an 8th world title to Verstappen in controversial circumstances at the end of 2021. Having kept a low profile, both on and off the track, for much of the week, Hamilton emerged from the pack in the final 30 minutes of the 24 hours of testing time to record a lap that puts an exclamation point on his return to action, after doubts over his participation in this campaign dominated the what's next. The paddock will gather for F1's official preseason test in Bahrain from March 10 to 12, with the first Grand Prix of the season coming at the same venue the following weekend. The Bahrain Test, Grand Prix and every other race this season will be shown live on Sky Sports.